fast task running, you have caching built in, and also the workspace analysis. But we can actually elevate the experience even further with so-called NX plugins. Now, NX plugins are optional add-ons on top of the NX core. They are basically NPM packages designed for a specific technology, like for instance React, Angular, or Node, but also Playwright or even Java. The goal is to abstract away low-level configuration and then also provide utilities such as code generation or migrations for easy upgrading to the next version. Let's also pull in NX Console, which is an editor extension for VS Code, IntelliJ, and Cursor, which nicely pairs with NX plugins, but also provides other DX improvements for NX workspaces. In our specific workspace, for instance, we can install the NX Vt plugin by using the NX add command. And once we have that installed, we could go ahead and remove all the manually defined package JSON scripts. Now you might be wondering, like, why would I even want to do that? Well, again, remember the packing your luggage, booking your flights. It's all about these configs, which you should necessarily have to deal with. Stick with me for a second. Now, first of all, if you remove these package JSON scripts, you can still see what NX understands in terms of package tasks by running NX show project and then the name of the project. So if you have NX console installed, if you open up the package JSON or also the corresponding tool configuration, such as in this case, Vt config, there's an icon that you can open and it will show you all the tasks that are defined for this specific project. Now let's open up, for instance, the build configuration, which you can see just runs Vt build underneath, but it also comes with a bunch of different configurations out of the box. So for instance, it defines external dependencies, such as the Vt package that invalidates the cache, but also defines the output directory. And most importantly, if I, for instance, enhance the Vt config by adding an output directory, and I change that to some different location, you can see how it automatically reflects that in the actual task that is being run. And this is crucial because now you don't manage things in multiple places, but you just change it in the actual tool, which in this case is Vt. You change the output directory and the next automatically picks it up and makes sure the output directory is correct.